Bonjour. I am honored to introduce Mr. Julian Kittle, our Ojibwe language teacher and drum instructor here at Cokie High School. He, along with a group of our students, Kingston Almer, Joey Barney, Nakota Benjamin, Louis Defoe, Michael Lefebvre, Chaz Martineau, Sheldon Sace, Ty Stiffarm, Damani Wilson, Zane Wise, Rizal Egerton Howes, Elijah Petit, Caden Smith, and Kai Smith, along with community singers, Nigga Goons Martin, Kevin Blackedder, Mike Minnell, Timmy Morgan, Jeff Egerton Howes. They are here to honor our graduates with the drum, who is called Miziwe Kami Kanung. This translates to all around the earth. Please stand for the honor song.
Good evening. My name is Jonah Bryant Nico, and I was elected as the senior class president this year. I would like to extend a special welcome to all the friends, classmates, teachers, parents, families, and all others here to support the class of 2022 tonight. We've done it. We're finally here. No more econ tests or ramp ups, no more gym classes or book reports. It's finally our turn to decide what road to follow, who we are meant to be. Keeping that in mind, we cannot forget where we came from. We must not forget the things we've learned or the friends we've made. The long class periods of seemingly useless information and the even longer nights studying the same chapter we zoned out on on the nights before tests. We cannot forget the multiplication table or about Genghis Khan. But most importantly, we cannot forget about the people who got us here today. The teachers who stayed after school to get us caught up, the counselors who reworked our schedule so we could sleep in and leave early for lunch, our parents and caretakers who woke us up every morning to make sure we never missed our first hour classes. Some say high school is where kids should figure out how to function on their own, but I say Without a friendly reminder from my parents and teachers, I would still have missing assignments. So here's to you, to everyone who has been there to guide us in this journey and help us realize what we can truly become. Thank you. Can we please have a round of applause for all those people? And now to my classmates. The past four years have been some of the best and worst times of our lives. I must first acknowledge all of our bravery and strength while battling the COVID-19 virus. It was a gruesome war, plagued by Google Meets and Schoology assignments most of us barely completed. Yet here we stand, seasoned veterans in battling boredom and fear. But it wasn't all bad times. We still ruled the bleachers at football games and packed into the senior lot every morning. Looking back, I would not prefer it any other way. All of the oddities proved how different we are from those who came before us and those who will follow. But apart from the quarantines and the mask mandates, life as we know it has been pretty easy. Waking up at the same time every day, going to the same building with the same friends we've known since we were little children, learning about the same subjects year after year after year. Sadly, these simple times have come to an end. It's finally time for us to spread our wings. No more IST, no more captain's practice, and most importantly, no more summer reading. But it is time to look to the future. As each of us cross this stage, we are leaving the simplistic wonders of childhood behind to enter the biggest transition of our lives. The few steps we take tonight are the start of the long journey to adulthood. Though our childhood has been filled with good memories and even better friends, do not be afraid to leave it all behind and go make great memories for yourself. The Cloquet High School not only set us up for success academically, but it helped prepare us for the real world. The teachers have served as excellent role models, teaching by example how to live with integrity and valor. Now it is our turn to lead excellent lives. With age comes wisdom and challenges. As we continue to grow, we must continue to strive for greatness, the greatness that we have experienced as adolescents. Do not settle for average. Be great. Do not limit yourself. For others, the sky's the limit. But for us, the sky is just what we will stand on to reach levels never seen before, the beyond. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Lydia Stone, and I'm honored to be speaking to all of you tonight on behalf of my fellow CHS classmates. This is a very special occasion for all of us, and I want to sincerely thank parents and guardians, teachers, staff, and everyone here who has supported and guided us to this high point in our lives. Over the past few months, our senior class has had a running joke. When one of us receives a good grade, wins an award, gets to school on time, submits a two-month-old assignment, or really does anything of moderate intelligence or athleticism, we'll say, well, I guess you've peaked. Receiving a good grade is followed by, guys, this is it for me, the pinnacle of my career, and lots of laughter. It's been a funny way to joke about the end of our high school careers, about our time together, and our disappearing safety net that we've built for ourselves in this small town. The phrase, we've peaked, has been an easy way to mask our insecurities and nervousness about the unknowns ahead. But despite these feelings, our joking is a result of the confidence we have in our futures. Deep down, 
we understand that we all have much more to give to the world and more within ourselves to discover. I believe this confidence comes from the fact that we are graduating from Cloquet High School and now have the momentum to keep our trajectory facing upwards. Through our classes and teachers, extracurriculars and ourselves, we've adopted skills that will help us plow through our future challenges. First, the adults and staff at CHS have lovingly guided us over the last four years. From them, we have developed respect, patience and kindness and have recognized how we would like to be treated throughout the rest of our lives. From our extracurriculars, jobs or hobbies, we've gained teamwork, problem solving and people skills. We know our strengths and who we work well with. We've learned how to ask for help or maybe forgiveness, how to take criticism and support others, and most importantly, we've learned why relationships are important. And from ourselves, we've started to recognize our self-worth and create goals that we'll plan our future around. This journey of developing our own hopes and dreams has only just begun in high school and will carry over into the rest of our lives. On Wednesday, Mr. Craftifer gave my English class some parting advice that I feel all of us should hear. He explained that the river we are riding down is going to continue flowing and pulling us with. This pull is uncontrollable, but what we can control is how we channel our path, how we channel our energy and our mindset and our priorities. If we can do these things and focus on our destination while still being confident in our abilities, the heights we can reach are astronomical. Our relationships, extracurriculars, and classes have paved a very clear path for the graduating of class of 2022 to become successful, determined, and caring adults. If we allow high school accomplishments and awards to guide us towards future achievements, the skills we've acquired from extracurriculars to carry us far in professional careers, and the relationships we've made with teachers and friends to give us the strength and foundation to continue growing on this journey of life, then it's only going to get better from here. As we part ways, I hope we all utilize and cherish the skills, relationships, and memories CHS has gifted us, and remember to keep climbing upward. So, congratulations to the class of 2022. As of now, we've all peaked. But, higher mountains stand before us with heights I'm confident will be reached. Thank you, and again, congratulations.
All right, thank you, Madrigals. Uh, good evening, class of 2022. As I stand in front of you, I'm seeing a group that has experienced maybe one of the most unique high, high school experiences in modern times. You did it all. Distance learning, hybrid learning, in-person school, sometimes seemingly a combination of them all. It's been a high school experience of ups and downs, but you certainly are finishing on and up. Our school year, this fall, like every other school year, started out chaotically. It was an adjustment to get everyone back to school, but you did it. Once we hit our groove and got into our second half of the school year, it seemed the most excitement came from a string of over overflowing toilets in the bathrooms. <laughs> and in Battalion Mize's world, that's pretty good. Uh, but I think uh, Steve Martin, a head custodian, would disagree. But hey, you succeeded. You persevered. Take these experiences with you. Take your ability to overcome obstacles, your creativity, determination, everything that got you to where you are right now. Move forward with your lives and be the best you can be. I thank you for all the great years you know, of working with you guys on the football field, track, or in school. Each of you has had a unique path to sitting in front of us right now. Enjoy your night here. Enjoy your last night together as a high school class. You earn the celebration. We'll say it one last time. Go Jacks. Welcome, welcome to Cloquet High School. I just, I want our graduates just turn around real quick and just see, look at the, look at the stadium, okay? This is, you know, it's impressive to see the community and the, the town show up for these kids. Um, you know, as a parent, and I know we've got a lot of parents here, we all understand, and we're not joking when it say it takes a village to raise a kid, and the same goes for a school. When we're trying to run a school, we need strong support um, both at school and at home. So I thank you for that. Um, the commencement ceremony for the class of 2022, again, my name is Steve Battaglia, the high school principal. It's my privilege to serve as the high school principal. Before we get to the formal part of honoring the impressive academic achievements of our graduates, I wanna take a moment to acknowledge how these graduates got through their very unique high school experience. COVID-19 was responsible for a number of things we'd rather not relive. However, from the proverbial ashes of COVID-19, new practices have emerged. This ceremony being held on our football field is a new tradition that didn't exist in the pre-pandemic era. Take a look around. The setting really is, it really is something. You know, as a freshman, we told these graduates that their high school experience would include an outdoor prom, you know, held in the school parking lot, or that they'd be wearing face masks to school. There's no way they would have believed us. All of these things that were born from living through a worldwide pandemic could have been reason to throw your hands up and just quit. Luckily, you didn't. Instead, you doubled down. You worked harder. You worked differently than we'd ever been asked to work in the past. In fact, I think there's a unique grit and determination that comes from the, new, the unique experience you guys had. Additionally, I'd like to acknowledge our student leadership groups. Due to the uncharted waters we found ourselves in of running a high school during a pandemic, we really leaned on our student leadership groups to provide more input and advice than ever before. I wanna thank the seniors that have been meeting monthly with myself and our administrative team. You provided valuable and honest feedback and we greatly appreciate that. At this time, I wanna recognize our senior class officers and our senior executive board. When I announce your name, please stand to be recognized. Remain standing until all names are read. And please hold your applause until all have been recognized. Our president, Jonah Bryant Nicol. Vice president, Sam Bytart. Treasurer, Carson Esler. Secretary, Amelia Allen. Our executive board, again, Amelia Allen, Eileen Benson, Jonah Bryant Nico, Riley Burkhart, Sam Bytart, Kate Conway, Sophia Diver, Marina Dostal, Carson Esler, Harmony Fisher, Dana Jones, Kaylee Cruzy, Jack Liang, Addison Loeb, Olivia McCauley, Bryn Martin, Jacob Mertz, Kale Prozen, 
Lydia Stone, Addison Thompson, Katie Turner, and Madeline Young. Each year at graduation, a number of seniors receive honor cards to signify that they have been named to the principal's honor list. A senior may qualify for the principal's honor list in one of two ways, either by receiving a 3.5 cumulative GPA for the first three quarters of their senior year, which is signified by wearing a purple and white honor cord, or by receiving a 3.5 cumulative GPA for grades 9 through 12, which is signified by wearing a gold honor cord. At this time, I'd like to announce the seniors and have them stand where they are. Again, please hold your applause until all of the names are read. Amelia Allen. Mason Anderson. Sydney Anderson. Samuel Bailey. Mitchell Bastine. Dante Bell. Winnie Benjamin Hall. Eile Benson. Alyssa Bowen Johnson. Dylan Bowman, Hannah Boyd, Abigail Brown, Thorin Brown, Jonah Bryant Nico, Riley Burkhart, Isabel Burley, Nicole Busher, Sam Bytart, Kate Conway, Hayden Dahl, Sophia Diver, Marina Dostal, Leighton Doty, McKenna Downing, Carson Essler, Eve Eugenis, Hannah Fink, Harmony Fisher, Caleb Hansen, Bella Harriman, Laura Heck, Connor Heck, Olivia Jamison, Dana Jones, Kaylee Cruzy, Carter Kubis, Jack Liang, Addison Loeb, Olivia McCauley, Bryn Martin, Carly Maslowski, Joel Malera Alvarez, Jillian McCullough, Jacob Mertz, Presley Nimi, Lillian Nygaard, Coda Oswald, Ethan Partika, Madison Preto, Kale Prozen, Anna Quas, Camden Ramsey, Samuel Remus, Bailey Reynolds, Bella Richardson, Sarah Ringett, Emerson Rock, Eliza Savage, Ashton Schneeberger, Sadie Senich, Jenna Sibick, Allison Sickman, Jack Sorensen, Matthew South, Martha Stevenson, Lydia Stone, Isaac Strand, Spencer Strand, Brendan Strang, Addison Thompson, Ryan Tomshi, Alec Turnbull, Reese Turnbull, Katie Turner, Jacob Walsh, Mariah Willie, Madeline Young, and Champ Zacker. I'd also like to acknowledge some of the other specialty cords that some of our graduates are wearing. The blue and gold cords signify our upward bound graduates. These are first generation college bound students. Would our upward bound graduates please stand to be recognized? Okay. The green and white cords uh, signify Girl Scout graduates. The red, white, and blue cords signify Boy Scout graduates. Would our scouts please stand to be recognized?
We also have graduates wearing the Music Medal of Honor for solo performance. Would they please stand to be recognized? And finally, with gratitude from all in attendance, would all graduates wearing the stoles of and all of our graduates planning to enter any of the military branches please stand to be recognized. Now I am privileged to honor and announce the honors of distinction. This honor is, a, is awarded to all graduates, uh, graduating students achieving a 4.0 GPA for their cumulative GPA at Cloquet High School. This is the highest academic award given to Cloquet High School graduates. These students are signified by wearing the Honor of Distinction Medal. When your names are called, will these individuals, along with their parents or guardians, please stand to be recognized at this time? Again, I would ask you to hold the, pl hold the applause until the end. Amelia Allen and her parents, Chandra and Jim Allen. Winnie Benjamin Hall and her parents, Dina Benjamin and Chris Hall. Eileen Benson and her parents, John and Wendy Benson. Harmony Fisher and her mom, Emily Fisher. Olivia Jamison and her parents, Joe and Lori Jamison. Kaylee Cruzy and her parents, Lisa and Chris Cruzy. Jack Liang and his parents, Ling and Wen Liang. Olivia McCauley and her parents, Rob and Karen McCauley. Jacob Mertz and his parents, Laura Palombi and John Mertz. Caleb Prozen and his parents, Tim and Sarah Prozen. Emerson Rock and her parents, Christina and Jeff Rock. Allison Sickman and her parents, Jason and Leah Sickman. Lydia Stone and her parents, Molly and Bill Stone. Katie Turner and her parents, Bobby and Paul Turner. Mariah Willey and her parents, Sam and Rachel Willey. Before we hand out diplomas, I'd like to take the time to congratulate the class of 2022. This class has led Cloquet High School for the last school year. They led academically, they led our extracurricular activities, they've served our community, and now they've earned the right to go lead their own lives and choose their own path. If I can give any advice, it's to remain optimistic through life's challenges. The whole point of education is to, pre to prepare you for the unforeseen circumstances that you'll find yourself in as life unfolds. You can't always control what happens to you, but you can control how you react to it. Your high school experience was a test, and every one of you in a purple cap and gown passed with flying colors. As you leave CHS behind, understand that the future is truly yours to determine. You all have unique talents and interests. Go capitalize on your assets. Work hard, keep learning, and don't give up when things get tough. And things will, at some point, get tough. You can all lean on your experience within the Cloquet School District, as well as the lessons learned from your families, to overcome whatever challenges you'll face. As you scatter across the country, really the world for some of you, Remember the common bond that you have with your classmates of the graduating class of 2022. That relationship is special. Continue to value it. Check in on one another as time goes by. We all struggle at different times, and there's nothing better than hearing from an old friend in those moments. On behalf of the staff and administration of CHS, the staff and administration at the middle school and our elementary schools, I wish you all good luck in your future endeavors. Now we have come to the most important part of our graduation ceremony, and that is the distribution of diplomas. I'd like to ask the audience for your cooperation as the diplomas are being distributed. Please hold your applause until all of the diplomas are given out. And we also ask to refrain from shouting out graduates' names or using cat calls or noisemakers, as they do distract from the announcement of other graduates' names. We want all of our graduates to receive their proper recognition. I thank you in advance for your cooperation. At this time, school board members Ted Lammy, Nate Sandman, Hawk Heward, along with Superintendent Dr. Michael Carey, will assist us in the presentation of the diplomas to our graduates of 2022.
Jonah, Alvin, Edward, Bryant, Nico. Samuel, Paul, Lyle, Bytart. Amelia, Lynn, Allen. Carson, Michael, Essler. Lydia, Jane, Stone. Ashton, Caden, Alaspa. Brady, Joseph, Anderson. Mason, Arthur, Anderson. Mackenzie, Eileen, Anderson. Peter, Sean, Anderson. Sydney Hope Anderson. Xavier Athen Anderson White. <laughs> Quinton Roy Bailey. Samuel Joshua. Bailey. Oh my God. Logan Stanley Baker. Connor Mateo Adam Barney. Mitchell Austin Bastine. Logan Christopher Beck. Dante Keith Bell. Winnie Marianne Benjamin Hall. Eileen Chu Wong Benson. Alyssa Charlie Bowen Johnson. Dylan Eugene Bowman. Hannah Ashton Boyd. Amea Christine Bridge. Abigail Annette Brown. Emily Nicole Brown. Thorin Anderson Brown. Carter Jacob Budras. Riley Elaine Burkhart. Isabel May Burley. Nicole Marie. Esperanza Busher. Ethan 
Jeffrey Butcher. Joseph Arlo Ray Callahan. Tanner Michael Calvary. Caitlin Leanne Carter. Kate Ellen Conway. Orville James Counselor, Jr. Hayden Allen Dahl. Sophia Lynn Diver. Tyrell James Diver. Marina Jane Dostal. Layton Joseph Doty. McKenna Hadley Downing. Carly Marie Downs. Sarah Elizabeth Ellett Cardinal. Eve McKenna Eugenis. Kaya Elizabeth Fairbanks. Anna K. Fink. Harmony Grace Fisher. Deacon Anthony Field. Haley Elaine Flame. Genevieve Jewel Fanodi. Abigail Georgia Gaffney. Avery Jalen Goodrow. Riley Ann Hamilton. Kara Lynn Hanks. Andrew Joseph Hansen. Caleb Ronald Hansen. Matthew Parker Hansen. Carter James Haroldson. Bella Ruby Harriman. Marshall Eric Hayes. Connor Kenneth Hecht.
Laura Jean Hecht. Caitlin Elizabeth Heyer. Ty Matthew Hughes. Joshua Thomas Hutchison. Olivia Ann Jameson. Alexis Ray Johnson. Dominic Kenneth Johnson. Dana Angelina Jones. Abigail Ann Kinnanen. Kaylee Marie Cruzy. Carissa Ann Marie Kubat. Carter David Kubis. Lane Alexander Kuntz. Sam Stephen Kutzler. Jessica Kate Layard. Tyler Jacob Leppi. Jack Liang. Devin Joseph Linder. Christopher Joseph Litke. Addison Eileen Loeb. Thomas Charles Lorenz. Nicholas Christopher Lynch. Olivia Gail McCauley. Arrow Anthony Mackey. Bryn Rebecca Martin. Stephen Robert Martin Jr. Talea Deborah Martino. Carly Jean Maslowski. Jillian Carol McCullough. Bianca Jo McKean. Mia Ann McKeon.
Boston Price McLeod. Joel Antonio Malara Alvarez. Jacob Walter Mertz. Jocelyn Lee Mitchell. Graham Owen Newmeyer. Gavin Daniel Navy. Damian Van Wynn. Presley Angeline Namey. Grant Ray Nordeen. Ramsey Marie Norton. McKenna Ray Novak. Jilly Lillian Ann Nygaard. Coda Dale. Oswald Nyla Siri Parker Justice Marie Perro Nicholas Michael Owens. Ethan Brandt Partika. Alexander Trey Peterson. Brock R. Peterson. Elijah Jason Petit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sierra Sharon Petit. Madison Ray Prato. Kale James Prozen. Anna Olivia Quas. Jalen Elizabeth Ryer. Camden Joseph Ramsey. Bria Cheyenne Rasmussen. Samuel Luke Remus. Bailey Elizabeth Reynolds. A 
Olivia Josephine Rice. Bella Dora Richardson. Sarah Christine Ringett. Emerson Hayes Rock. Eliza Nancy Cassandra Savage. Ryan Michael Schmidt. Ashton Riley Schneeberger. Sadie May Senich. Talia Marie Shaw. Jenna Irene Sibick. Allison Marie Sigman. Sydney May Skudovic. Tanner Dalton Smith. Davis Richard Smith Barney. Jack Dennis Sorensen. Matthew James South. Martha Irene Stevenson. Jasmine Sky Stoffarin. Isaac Charles Strand. Spencer Matthew Strand. Brendan James String. Justice Ann Taylor. Spencer Michael Teitelbaum. Addison Nicole Thompson. Ryan Michael Tomshi. Katie May Turner. Alec Lynn Turnbull. Reese Joseph. Turnbull. Will Jerome Turnbull. Tyler Joseph Tura. Jacob Scott Vanderpool. Emily Renee Vermish.
Ashley K. Wall Building. Jacob Forrest Walsh. Nolan Roger Wenner. Aiden Richard Wilkinson. Mariah Rose Willie. Madeline Eileen Young. Alexander William Urenson. Champ Allen Zacker. Alexander Sergeyevich Zegan. Before we finish the graduation ceremony, I need to make a couple of announcements. Graduates who are attending the all-night grad party following this ceremony are due to check into the high school within 30 minutes or so, 30-ish minutes. We will not be having a recessional. Instead, we will have the graduates remain on the field at the conclusion of the ceremony. This will allow parents and friends to meet the graduates to offer congratulations. Graduates of 2022, please stand and face the audience. At this time, I'd like to present to you the Cloquet High School Class of 2022. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Ted. Well done. We're good.